Well, well, is my darling dearest finally waking up? You had me so frightened, dear. You weren't moving for so long, I thought. Maybe something terrible happened to you. But everything is alright. <laughs> it looks like we finally get to spend a little time together. Just the two of us. Don't we? I've had to wait so long for this, I can barely contain myself. And yet, you don't seem happy. Your pupils are dilated. Your palms are sweaty. You're breathing heavily. Some might call that excitement, but I can sense your fear. Poor thing. There's nothing to be afraid of, darling. You're safe now. Safe with me. Where no one can ever hurt you again. Isn't that nice? No need to worry about people breaking your heart or stepping on your feelings. Because I would never do that to you. No. From this day onward, I will be your most devout servant. <sighs> Honey, don't struggle so much. You'll only get yourself all worked up, and your body must still be so exhausted from the trip down here. You wouldn't want to leave already. How silly. You only just got here, and there's still so much fun to be had. So why don't you just be good for me? Stay right here, won't you? With me? That would just make me so happy. Don't you want me to be happy? We could be happy together, even. If you behave. Good. Now, just stay in your seat and relax. The rope will only burn if you struggle. So sit still, okay? <laughs> you know it was so much hard work getting you all the way down here. The least you could do is behave to make things easier for me. I went to so many lengths just to have you here today. Don't you feel special? Not just anyone would do that for you, you know? <sighs> Though, I suppose you weren't conscious for most of it. So, you can't properly appreciate the things I've done for you. So, how about a little story, Ben? Will that help calm you down? <laughs> you could say it all started when I first laid eyes on you. Up until that point, no one had ever really interested me before. I'd had friends, romantic partners, but they never really meant all that much to me. They were there to just fill a void in my chest, but when I saw you, I just knew you were special. It felt as if time had stopped for just a moment, and the sound of my heart beat loudly in my ears, the thump, the thump. It was unlike anything I'd ever experienced. Suddenly, I became aware of my breathing, and the way my chest rose and fell with each breath. I was undoubtedly alive, perhaps for the first time in my life. And so it was a moment I will never forget. But I can't imagine you would remember that day. I mean, you were with someone else. Some girl. You probably didn't even notice me. It used to make my blood boil. Another new sensation, but one far less pleasant. No matter what, it seemed like I was just a stranger to you, following you home and glaring through the bushes at the girl who kept stealing all of your attention. I couldn't get closer to you, not with her around, so... I figured, if she were gone, 
then you'd finally be able to see that I was right there all along. She just needed to go away. But none of that matters anymore, right? In fact, some things are just better when kept a secret. It's a little more adventurous that way, don't you think? We wouldn't want to spoil the magic with all those bad memories. Instead, we can get to know each other for real. It's like a fresh start, like we're meeting for the very first time. And you only have eyes for me. You're here now, and that's the only thing that matters. So, don't worry about the past. Let's just think about the future instead. I've had a lot of time to think about it. How cute, right? Planning our future right under your nose. We'll get a little cottage in the woods. Far from the noise of the city. Far from anyone that could distract us from each other. No noisy cars or obnoxious people to ruin our happiness. Just us and the home we'll build together. Just you and me. We can spend our days watching the birds from our back porch. And maybe we could even put up one of those cute little feeders that attracts hummingbirds. Such delicate, fragile creatures. It's important to take care of things that are so helpless, right? You wouldn't want them getting hurt. <sighs> Would you stop giving me that look, dear? It breaks my heart to see you look so upset. And you have such a pretty smile. Even when I close my eyes at night, I see your smile in my dreams. So it would make me very happy if you stop looking so sad. We'll have such a wonderful life together. I'll cook you dinner every night, give you massages before bed. You will be worshipped like a god. Every second of my day, every ounce of my devotion will be yours. But I suppose I can't always be by your side. How else would I support our wonderful life if I didn't keep up with my job? So perhaps we'll get a dog, or a cat if that's more to your liking. How does that sound? A companion to keep you company when I can't be there. I would hate for you to get lonely, but I can't have you being around other people either. Your lips may be cute, but I can't trust you to keep them closed. Wouldn't want anyone knowing of our little secret, right? It would put me in so much danger, and that wouldn't be very good. How can I give you all my love if I get in trouble? Besides, I much prefer when I don't have to share your attention. So a pet will be plenty of company. You won't need friends when you have me. I'll give you everything you desire. Now, you must be starving. You were unconscious for so long. So how about this, darling? You be good and sit tight, and I'll go make you something to eat. It's important to not skip meals. I wouldn't want my darling wasting away. I'll be right back, alright? Don't miss me too much while I'm gone.
I see. So this is the game you want to play. I'm getting untied when I wouldn't be around to notice. But it's not like you had very long to escape. You couldn't have gone far now. <sighs> and to think, I went through all this trouble to get you here. I guess some people just can't appreciate true love when they have it. How ungrateful. But, fine. I'll play your little game of hide and seek. But I'll have you know, I never lose a game. I didn't get this far on luck alone. <laughs> Where could you be, darling? We were going to have so much fun together. What a pity. If only you had sat there and behaved. I really didn't want to have to let it resort to this. We could have lived happily. I could have given you everything you wanted. I certainly could have made you happier than that. That bitch. She didn't love you like I did. She hardly even looked your way. Always so distracted and so self-absorbed. Not even listening to you, but I listened. All I could do was listen, taking in every word you said, every breath you breathed. I was utterly devoted, and you would just, just throw that away? You know how lucky you are to have someone that loves you so much they'd do anything for you. Someone that would kill for you. You just don't understand. You don't understand that I was doing this for you, not for me. I couldn't care less what happens to me, as long as I get to see your smile. She wouldn't have made you happy. No one would have made you happy, because they're all too worried about themselves. If only you could see that. <laughs> I'll make you. I'll make you understand. I bet your heart is racing, huh? Can you hear it in your ears? The sound of your blood coursing through your veins. <laughs> what a delicious sound. The sound that you're alive. <sighs> Too bad it won't last forever. Those that are naughty must be punished. And I can't have you running around and ruining everything any more than you already have. <sighs> I think I must be getting warmer. There aren't many places left to hide, darling. You might as well just give yourself up. Maybe you could still fall in my good graces if you just repent. No? Well, it's a shame our little game must come to an end then. Ah, there you are. <laughs> I wish I could capture the look on your face. While I much prefer your smile, I can't help but feel excitement when fear flashes through your eyes. Perhaps because this was the face you had when you finally laid eyes on me. When you finally noticed my love for you. When I killed that bitch. So pathetic. It almost makes me feel sorry for you. <laughs> almost. Now, what to do with you? I could tie you back up, but apparently that isn't enough. No, you'll just squirm your way out again. <sighs> I suppose some things just can't be helped. What a waste of such a pretty face. But clearly you aren't appreciative of the love I want to give you. To be spoiled to the end of your days by a cute girl. Sounds like such a nightmare. What did you expect to happen, darling? That I would be merciful? Let you free so you could go back to ignoring me? Avoiding me? Not even acknowledging I exist? Well, that's no fun. No, I have something much more special for you. 
Something that will prove how much I love you. They say if you love something, to let it go. But I can't have you leaving here and telling people what all happened here tonight. So, there's really only one other option to make you understand just how much I love you. Because if you won't stay here with me, and then there's nowhere else for you to go. <sighs> it's time to say goodbye, darling. <laughs>